welcome so let's explore how we can use canva design to create flashcard that we can use in the classroom it is possible and i'm very sure that you will enjoy this video at the end of the day so stay tuned i'll be right back with all the steps welcome back so this time let's go to our workspace as we start the exploration right away as we all know the website is um, canva.com so when you get to your canva.com choose the size you want to use um, from the word create there are lots of sizes there and then from here you will be able to create any kind of poster you want to create so um i'll be using this type of format like a video format and um, try to get your flashcard first this is the kind of flashcard i'm trying to mimic so i'm going to my element i'm going to be searching for the word um, frame Let me see whether there is a kind of um, frame that can fit in. Yes, there is. Mostly all flashcards are like this. But what I'm going to do, I will be looking for kind of um, outline frame. Yeah, I think this is with um, outline. red the red is dark okay so the next thing I'm going to do uh, let me look for shape okay and, um, this is the template I'm going to be using position this box so um no need of making this let's use another color for this yep for student like bright color so what am i going to be doing i am going to be um, adding the picture of all the animals i want to use here think this is let me look for gradient okay i can manipulate this I'm going to be adding the name of any of the animals. I'm going to flip this over so that they're going to match with each other. So this is nice. Now I have um, what I'm going to be using as my flashcard. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to element and search for image of lion. Lion, and um, you will get me any kind of lion. I'm looking for. So, writing of the lion is what kind of font am I going to be using? Okay, lower case. So, because of that, let me just click on hard heading. So, What kind of font we fit this you know that uh, bold font is actually the best font to address 
children. I'm going to make this white and then have create my first splash card. Maybe I want to create another one again. You know, um, if I'm you now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create two of these in on one A4 paper so that um, I'm going to go to element boy. Um, from here right now I will just um, duplicate and remove this again and start another one afresh let me look for frog so endless possibility with the use of canva to create a lot endless possibility with the use of canva to create a lot to try your best as much as possible and um, use canva to explore as much as possible any kind of design that you can achieve with it and i'm very sure that you find this video of interest yes Remember to make it white. I think white is going to come out well. So let me work on mouth. Mouth. Then. I had the word mouse there and I've actually created my flashcard this is lower um, lower primary nope, nursery flashcard and um, you can actually use this idea to create as much as you can different kind of flashcard for your classroom so I like you to explore this to save it is very simple just save it as PDF print and I'm saving the two pages so when you save it as pdf print it's going to come out as a pdf file you can go from here and what you can from here add um, print it out or use it online or use it on your screen if it's of your on your projector in the classroom and everything is going to be fine so thank you very much i really appreciate your time that you spent on my video so i'll be right back with more video on canva and I would like you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.